Hello everyone, welcome back to V Codes. This is Vipin, and I am back with another video. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can declare multiple entities within the same VHDL file. So I will be creating a full adder using two half adders. Okay. So in the example, uh, I have the codes ready for half adder, which is this uh, A B as input, sum and carry as output. Uh, these are the logical gate equations and I have the full adder which is uh, done with the help of two half adders. So you can easily google the logic diagram for this and see how it is connected. That I will uh, let you do uh, later. The focus of this video is how to use both of these entities in the same VHDL file. So first let's synthesize this design and see how the result looks like. So as you can see the code is synthesized correctly. Let's uh, check the RTL schematic. So this is the block diagram for full adder. Double click on it and you can see the half adder blocks are uh, connected properly. And if you just double click within a half adder, you have the, the internal uh, logic and how the things are connected. So this I am not going to simulate it, but uh, it seems to be working. So now Let's go back to the full adder and what we want to do is we want to, to write the entity half adder entity within the same full adder file. Okay. So how do we do that? It's pretty simple. I just have to copy this whole code and then paste it on top of this here and then just save it. Now we have both the half adder and full adder code in the same file and we can even remove this uh, this half adder just to avoid any confusion let's remove it from the project so we have full adder and two half adders under this and this half adder you can see it's showing to the same file fa.vht okay now let's uh, synthesize it okay synthesis is successful Let's reload the RTL schematic. Okay, full adder inside which uh, we have two half adders and an OR gate for the carry. Uh, double click on the half adder, the internal components show, and it seems to be working well. So, as you can see with the, this simple example, I have shown you how you can write multiple components within the same VHDL file. So, this is very useful when you have a very smaller components and you don't want to have them all in like different uh, files it can look really messy sometimes right so for smaller files i suggest you do things like things in this way and even though there are only two components in this you can have multiple components three four five doesn't matter so i hope you have learned something new from this video and to get such more videos in the future please subscribe to my channel and show support by liking this video as well. Good luck. See you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.